Oh, poo on the path. Right, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at building a picket gate for our vegetable garden, for the garden farm, as we call it. Now, I had a go at this yesterday, uh, but I made a bad cut, and that meant I had to go out and get more timber. There you go, I've explained in practice how you can do a half lap. You can do it this way, you can do it with a hand saw, you can do it with a circular saw. Just make sure you set, set your depth to halfway. Now, I'm gonna have a complete change of heart, complete change of plan because this is real life. And this saw is doing a terrible job at these half laps. You can see here, it's just not a, uh, a flat cut all the way across. We're nice halfway down to our pencil line one side. The other side is a completely different story. Now we've set our saw to cut halfway through our material as planned, but what the problem is here is when this particular budget saw is at full length on its riding bars here, and you push down, there's a bit of play there. And that play, you can see it's quite significant, that play on something that's less than an inch thick is huge. I mean, it's 50% more cutting depth there. Now, yes, on the table saw, it would be a lot more even because we could use it on the sled and it would be an even cut all the way across. But let's think outside the box a bit, go even more simple, and let's just screw the frame together because all the strength really is coming from the pickets. So this is take two. Um, there's a couple of ways of building a picket gate. I'm gonna show you one, and I'll also just sketch out on the table now another way, which is a little bit easier. Now, conventional picket gate, which you're likely to see for sale, would be something along these lines where you've got two uh, rails along the top and a diagonal, which is cut uh, on an angle and mitered into there. And then on top of that, you've got your picket. So all you've really got in, on the ends is just the depth of your picket. Now that's fine, uh, it gets all of its strength from the way it's fixed together and there is no actual substructure to the frame um, as such. What we are going to do with ours is we've got a slightly wider picket gate anyway. I'm actually going to build a frame as such and we'll still have our diagonal in there that frame will then be hung in place and I can attach the pickets because I want the pickets to follow the fence line. I'll explain that later. Right, now roughly speaking, that is our frame. Our pickets will extend off top and bottom, but that's exactly the width we need. Now, really the strength comes from the way the pickets are attached to the frame, but I am actually gonna fix this together as one. And I'm gonna try pocket holes for that. Not use pocket holes on an exterior project, but they'll all be concealed and behind the pickets anyway, so completely weatherproof. Now at this point we've got our nice strong frame and this is what we're going to attach our pickets to but first up we definitely need that diagonal uh, brace in there to stop the whole thing racking. First up we just need to check everything is nice and square, which it is. Another way to do that is just to measure corner to corner. We're at 117, 117. So we know we're square. So I'm just making sure that this diagonal is just intersecting right in the center there. With a nice sharp pencil, just scribe onto there.
Right, there we go. We've got our nice strong frame that's not going to rack at all. All right, let's go get some pickets. Now, these have been sat around as we did the fence three or four years ago. These have been sat in the pile. So we're just going to make sure we've got enough to start with. Like I was saying earlier on, I'm going to hang this in a bit of a different way rather than just building the gate and hanging it because our fence slopes down and all the pickets taper down with the lawn. I'm actually going to hang the gate and then I'm going to set our two end pickets so that they follow that line of the fence, the fence line. Otherwise, you just go ahead and install them up here and you could either do a, a concave or a convex. You could, how, however you want, you could have an arch on the top or you could just have them straight. But because we're going for an angle, uh, we'll go and hang it up first. Now, as a general rule, you're aiming for your T hinges to be half the width of the gate, but this is, I mean, gates don't get much lighter than this, so we should be okay with this. That's fine. Another thing I want to do is just take off the bottoms here. Obviously we want it to uh, carry on below the bottom rail, but because we've got wood chip down, it'd just be a pain if it's always catching. In all honesty, I'm not sure quite how well this is going to look by following that contour. Maybe I should have left it straight on top. Well, there we go, not a straightforward gate because of our setup here, but the real kind of basics behind it is that frame and the diagonal brace onto that. You can really use any cladding or whatever setup you wanted. Um, if you wanted it to be much stronger, like we've just done on some other gates up in the top of the garden, uh, we did half lap joins, which were glued and screwed on all the, the joins and that would hold a lot more weight. But in this instance, this is perfectly adequate. Now the girls are pretty keen to come and paint this. So I'm gonna leave that to them. All I've got to do is fit a catch. I've also put a auto closing uh, gate spring on here, which just means that whether it's the wind or the kids leaving it open or whatever, it's always gonna close onto the latch and there's no risk of escapees. To be quite honest, I'm not 100% sold on my design here of carrying on the angle. Perhaps I should have either done just done a flat top or maybe done a curved or something like that. There we go. Let me know what you would do in this situation with a sloping picket fence. Be interesting to hear your thoughts. But thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. And we'll see you next time.